Yes, and we've seen some of the, uh, you sent me a picture of these notebooks and we'll, we'll, we'll include that in here. And the first thing I noticed about just the fact that you had mentioned, just you just mentioned that, you know, how much writing you were doing just in the pandemic, there was like eight notebooks in there, was the elaborate covers. Like these are, these are notebooks that cost money. These are dollar store notebooks. What is it to you? What is it to you that the physical appearance of a joke notebook means so much to you versus a Rite Aid marble cardboard back and front notebook? It, it's not the physical appearance. I only buy notebooks in other cities, and okay. I don't all different sizes, colors. Like this is a, a bird watcher's journal. Okay. Um, I bought that in Portland, Oregon. This is Guinness. I bought this at Guinness okay. in Dublin. Um. I bought Jameson at Jameson in Ireland. All right. Also in Dublin. Um, this one I bought when I was at Zany's. Oh, no, sorry. Wrong notebook. <laughs> this one I bought in, at the Space Needle in Seattle. Okay. And some of my favorite stuff, this is very, very much worth pointing out. I have a buddy in North Carolina that makes notebooks out of VHS covers. Okay. So this is the 1997 uh, Sports Illustrated uh, swimsuit issue oh, wow. uh, VHS. <laughs> that was made into a notebook, <laughs> and he took my Monty Python VHS, and so awesome. notebooks, they just all have to, for me, they just have to be wildly different. Okay, now do certain jokes go in certain <laughs> notebooks, or are they just chronological as you get get them, or do some, or like do the Irish jokes go into the Guinness notebook, and then, okay, all right, I'll try to... No, um, I have a lot of negative experiences at the Wendy's by me, and I did buy a specific Wendy's notebook that only Wendy's material. <laughs> okay, so I, I, I like I like that you have an agenda with your notebooks, and so it's almost. Always. So I guess let me ask you this: Do you do you feel like you know you know I don't want to be negative, and I don't want, but like as you get older and maybe the work phases out and you're in less cities, like. Is the notebook a reason to keep going and writing? And maybe if you're invited to less cities and you don't, and your notebooks dry up, is that reason for you to hang up your hat? Is the is a notebook an incentive or a motivation to write? And if those notebooks aren't around, then you're not going to go out to the local corner store to get a notebook and just no, because I I I, I love traveling. I mean, the okay. last time I went to Ireland, I think it came in with thirty four notebooks. Okay, that's awesome. I, I think I gave I gave half away. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I mean, I just enjoy buying notes. Like, I will never go to a CVS or like Staples and buy a notebook. Okay. Like, I will always buy something on the road. Like, I was in, um, I just spoke reminded, I'm going to Indianapolis for shows in two weeks. Nice. And I was um, in Indy two years ago, and I realized I didn't buy a notebook yet. <laughs> and my last day in town, I went to the zoo. Okay. And I'm in the gift shop, and they had a notebook. Well, fuck it. I'm, my notebook from India is from the zoo. It has a zebra on it, but I, I don't care. I just like when the notebooks come from somewhere cool. Yeah, okay.